is a common denominator for all of us human beings and animals. It's a connector that no matter what language, no matter what culture you are, I do what I love and I love to communicate it and it makes such an impact, such a connection. <laughs> I am still working hard at it because I love it. It has given me a great life. It has given me great exposure. I have touched so many people, which I love. I love that I kind of have a little effect on people, what people cook in their home. A lot of time people ask me, Lydia, you're a successful businesswoman. How, why? Well, you have to pay attention to business and to numbers and you have to surround yourself with the right people. But for me, it was all about collaboration. I can only grow if I collaborate with other people. You know, new chefs look for that energy, look for that talent that exists in these people, and it magnifies what you have, what I have in my mind. They lead me to a place that together makes a successful show, a successful presentation. Uh, and I say even that, you know, with the workers that I have that come, there's a little piece of Lydia that goes with everyone. If I can influence, especially young minds, a little bit on the appreciation of food, when you respect food, you respect the, the climates, the earth, the, the animals and everything. And so uh, the message there goes well beyond just a plate of spaghetti. Toronto is a city that has certainly grown and it has become such an international city. It's so colorful, colorful in its culture, in its food. Uh, you know, the way I'm accepted. I mean, I walk through Italy, my, my store, and all different uh, uh, races I see come appreciate the food there, and that is wonderful. When you share food with somebody at the table, it's positive. Family is the unifying factor for me. Through my raising my two children and then the five grandchildren, I made sure that I had them in my kitchen, that they understood my culture, and I continuously kind of share with them who they are at the base as a culture. And now I see that on television, I connect with young people out there, and that is so rewarding to me. But they take from me and bring it into their culture, and they make themselves better. It just blows my mind. It has been two whirlwind days for me in Toronto. From the interviews of the regular morning shows uh, to book signing at uh, Italy and uh, greeting all my friends and conducting a cooking class. I love that. And for me, it's not enough just to be a business. I need to partake somehow and give back to that city. So when an opportunity for a fundraiser comes, absolutely. So last night was a great opportunity. Of course, Rocco was there, you know, lively Rocco. We conducted these conversations and questions. We had a ball. But the end was that these people paid a pretty penny to be there to help the people that needed in Toronto. I am Lydia Bastianich. My passion is food. It is my connector to all of you. So let's connect and let's build a better world for all of us with food. <laughs>